Get $3 off every order at PlayAsia by using the code CENSORED. Recently, there's been a lot of discussion regarding the use of Nazi iconography such as the swastika in games. The upcoming Call of Duty World War II is being marketed as a historically accurate portrayal of the war, yet fans notice that none of the footage seen so far has used any swastikas, instead choosing symbols such as the Iron Cross instead. On the other hand, the recently announced Wolfenstein 2 has already shown that it will not be holding back when it comes to its depiction of the German forces. This raised the question of whether Call of Duty will for some reason not be using this historical symbol. The Call of the Duty series has actually been removing the symbol from the games for many years now. For example, since the gaming reported a few weeks back about how the remastered maps in the new Black Ops 3 DLC, Zombie Chronicles had removed every single use of the symbol. However, in an interview with Sledgehammer Games CEO, it has been revealed that despite their represents in trailers, it will still be contained in the single player, but not the multiplayer. The reason given being due to the rules and regulations of certain parts of the world, and wanting all regions to be able to play online together. The region that they are talking about is Germany and is based on the video game industry's previous bad experiences with a certain German law. This video will go into what exactly the issue is and why these symbols keep getting removed from games. Our story all begins back in 1945 and post-war Germany. Following losing the war, the Allies started a process called denazification. This initiative set out to get rid of any remaining traces of Nazism in German society, with of course the intention of never allowing the atrocities of the war to happen again. One effect of this was the creation of Section 86A in the German Criminal Code, the section titled Use of Symbols of Unconstitutional Organisations. Unconstitutional organisations refer to the Nazis and other similar outlawed groups. Whilst there's no precise list of the affected symbols, the law states that these can include flags, insignia, uniforms, slogans and forms of greetings. Additionally, any symbols which are so similar that they could be mistaken for these shall be treated equally. The law also states that anybody found guilty of domestically distributing or publicly using these symbols, as well as anybody who produces stocks, imports or exports with the intention of doing this will be punished with imprisonment for no more than three years or a fine. So already you should be able to start to see where this problem is coming from. However, there's still much more to it than that and it could be argued that games should not be having the issues that they are having and here's why. Scrolling up to the start of section 86 and then down to subsection 1, you'll notice that an exception in the law is made for, and I quote, if the means of the propaganda or the acts serve to further civil enlightenment or to avert unconstitutional aims to promote art or science, research or teaching, reporting about current historical events or similar purposes. Now this exception is exactly why Germany is far from a swastika free zone. All Germans are taught about the war in school for example and at any time are able to turn on the TV and see documentaries and such about the war which include these symbols. In fact even movies are allowed to freely show them. Remember the law states that an exception is made where they are used for art purposes and movies are seen as falling under this due to their artistic nature. So why then if they are allowed to be shown in movies why are they not allowed to be shown in games? And the simple answer to that is simply that nobody has ever tried, or at least properly that is. I'd just like to thank the Steam group for Uncut for their help with this part of the video. For Uncut are a German anti-censorship group who are very knowledgeable about German law. Now the legal issues over in Germany all started back in 1994 with the game Wolfenstein 3D. Like modern entries in the series, the title contains many forms of Nazi themes and it was the first game to ever be banned by the German courts for the use of symbols of unconstitutional organisations. Following this, other games have also been found to have violated these laws, including Wolfenstein from 2009. Nine. However, not a single case has ever considered the exceptions mentioned earlier in subsection 1 of the German Criminal Code, which allows these symbols to be used in other media such as movies. To quote a discussion I had with Fort Uncut, the cited judgments are controversial. Shortly after the rendition of the Wolfenstein 3D judgment, there was criticism. And meanwhile, legal experts unanimously assume that the publishers could successfully defend themselves against these no longer up-to-date judgments. If they summon the courage to defend themselves in court with the help of the social adequacy clause in regards to artistic freedom. The reality, however, is that the developers and publishers of the games are concerned because they do not seem to see any success in that alternative or fear of being labeled as Nazi advocates and that they would consequently suffer substantial 
substantial damage to their image. Instead, they would prefer to resort to expensive adjustments for the German versions or even censor these symbols globally. However, all they will be doing is claiming their right to protection under the social adequacy clause as used by the film industry. So to summarize, it is thought that if a publisher simply tried to defend their use of the symbols, it would not only get approved by the courts, but would then set a precedent for future titles as well. But so far, no publisher has been willing to do this. Thus, unless things change, German gamers will continue to get special censored versions made for them that remove anything that could cause issues. Additionally, we will continue to see some games that make changes worldwide instead, like the upcoming Call of Duty World War II multiplayer. However, hopefully from this video, you have now learnt a few new things about why it is that these things happen and how things could be changed for the better. Until next time, thank you for watching.